Bonsoir, mes amis. I'm El Grimm, and uh, today I have a special treat for you. This is uh, something sent to us by Medieval Shot, this flag uh, we got in our recent Christmas package, uh, and we promised to do a video about it, and uh, so here we are with that video. Uh, the flag was a part of the Imperial Grenadiers Regiment. Uh, in fact, uh, it says so here in the French on the front of the flag. It says, uh, Garde Imperial, Le Imperial, uh, Napoleon, au premier regiment des Grenadiers à pied. Uh, loosely translated, it means the Imperial Guard of the Emperor Napoleon of the 1st Regiment of the uh, grenadier or grenade uh, the footman's grenade grenadiers so these would be grenadiers that ran on foot and uh, they were highly honored uh, because they were the biggest best strongest warriors that you could get. and those guys from that regiment had many many victories and what they did was they would have these iron grenades they'd have to have fuses on their uniform to light them up and they'd run out in front of the whole line of infantry up to the enemy infantry and chuck them and it was an art for them to chuck these grenades into the enemy lines they had many victories a lot of those are celebrated right here on this flag uh, as you see they name off all the countries and uh, cities where they've had major victories that they've been a part of so the grenadiers helped in austria they helped in friedland uh, they helped in moscow berlin vienna madrid so really these guys have been in many battles more than i've mentioned off this flag there's just too many to talk about uh, these guys are standard uniform, usually required them to have uh, a musket with the bayonet. And also, an interesting thing about the French Grenadiers is they started the whole concept of going from the tri-pointed uh, caps to uh, more of the Bishop's Miter style cap to make it easier to sling their rifle over their shoulder when they went to go throw their grenades. So that's really cool that they've changed sort of the military uh, fashion of clothing to accommodate the weapons they were using at the time. So this flag celebrates these great grenadiers, the great unit of fighters, and they're a part of the infantry uh, battalion, uh, hence uh, the footmen. So, every footman was issued the briquet. Uh, anybody under uh, a certain rank, usually it was uh, enlisted men. It was so they'd have a sidearm. Uh, you wouldn't want to be caught out in no man's land if you were a grenadier or a fusilier and uh, not have this, because the musket's only gonna take you so far against uh, officers who have full length sabers, they're gonna come across you and that's not gonna last long, that, uh, that bayonet on your rifle. Uh, eventually they're gonna get past the point and they're gonna tear you up. So this was a great thing to have. Uh, you're gonna see this pre-K in action. I can't wait to see an action. It's a beautiful blade. We already tell that it's kind of hammered out, or not kind of, it is hammered out. We've been kind of messing with it a little, you know, and we're really excited to see how this performs. Grant's got a lot of special things for it. Uh, a gel head, a newspaper and the bottle cuts and everything. Uh, so we're gonna see how well this performed. Uh, coming up real soon. So all I have to say to uh, Thrand is uh, bon chance my friend and uh, good luck brother. I hope we do well with this blade and uh, guys be sure you uh, go over to Medieval Shop, check out all of their reenactment stuff uh, including their flags and things. Let's go great in a campsite uh, if you do like that kind of reenactment. So definitely go by there. They have all your needs for those things including uh, functional weapons like this pre-K. Uh, thank you so much for watching our channel. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Uh, we love subscribers around here. You get updates if you're a subscriber of new material coming out, including when the briquet weapon test comes out. You'll get an update for that. Uh, make sure that you like our video, comment below. Uh, you can go to Facebook and find us there. We have two pages. We've got our Brandon Elgrimmer's Well of Remembrance. You can like that page. That's our like page. Lots of great content and people there. And we have our private page, the closed group, the Thane Thrand YouTube boat crew. You go there, you can have private conversations with Thran, myself, and other boat crew members, and there's lots of people with lots of skills, armoring, uh, blacksmithing, uh, mead making, everything. So you get to run to a really great group of guys and uh, trade ideas. It's a great forum, so uh, check that out. And if you're not a don if you're not able to donate to us uh, financially through Patreon at www.patreon.com slash Thran or through our PayPal, uh, you can always send us items that you make. So we're always happy to test those out. We're going to have some uh, test videos on a few items that have been mailed to us uh, by creators. So uh, those are always welcome. Thank you again for watching. Au revoir and uh, farewell.